drink lemon water every morning. It's good for digestion. I feel really good when I wake up, so I recommend that you guys do it too. The egg that I was just eating that my sister, actually I don't want to say that you made it. The egg that I was just eating that my sister made, I thought it was a hard boiled egg, but it was soft and I dropped all the yolk on my foot. Going for a nice leisurely stroll with the dogs. Let's go, Pippa. These streets are really cool with all these flowers. Naya, sit. Good girl. Nicely. Pippa, sit. Nicely. Nicely. Good girl. Gracie, nicely. Nicely. Good girl. We're outside right now, but we're still keeping our distance. We're the only people at this park other than some yeah, girl, kids over crazy. there, but... Let's get her one. Naya, Naya, sit. No bark. Good girl. Yay, Naya! She's so fast, she almost overshoots. I'm gonna see how obedient Pippa is feeling today. Pippa's the blonde one, by the way. Pippa, come here! Good girl, Naya! Come here, Pippa! Good girl, Pippa! Good girl! If any of you guys are familiar with Dachshunds, you know that back problems are pretty common with their breed, so we're trying to make sure that she's staying athletic, staying fit, so. One of our recent rescues, Naya, the baby one, is part Whippet, so she's super fast. I'm gonna try to get a video of me sprinting right now, and I'll show you guys how fast she is. <laughs> my God. Even at my full sprint, she makes it look like I'm not even going anywhere. Go girls, go! You're actually good. Like, we've been going one and two this whole time. Wait, do they have the classic DK Summit? DK Mountain. This is the this is the OG one. The one that has like the big cannon that shoots you across. First and second, here we go. Luckily, this fire burrito place from around the corner of my sister's house is still doing takeout, so I wanted to go get one for lunch. Of course, as soon as the bag opens, we got some visitors looking for scraps. Oh my gosh. Good? So good. I feel like when I eat burritos, a lot of the time, after like 10 bites or so, I've kind of had my fill and I'm just eating to fulfill hunger at that point, but the first bites before that are always so good. What do you see, Pippa? Sometimes when people talk to her, her head tilts to the side. Where's Eric? So the brand that I'm gonna be talking to you guys about today is called Talentless. This is Scott Disick's brand. It's based out of California, I believe, and I was actually put onto this brand by my sister a couple weeks ago. She had ordered a couple products off of their website after seeing some reviews online because she's been looking for good sweatsuit stuff, as was I. She had seen some videos online where they had said good things about this brand, and I had previously seen Talentless's name, people that I watch. They had really said good things about it, but I think my perception of the brand was it was more of like an Instagram influencer brand. They just kind of seed their product to influence and then maybe pay them a bag as well or give them some free product and then just have them spread the word where where the quality might not actually be there and maybe the influencers just want to get a bag or get some free product and maybe promote something to their viewers that they don't really believe in or is really of good quality. But I was totally wrong in my perception with this brand. This brand is unbelievable quality. I've already tried the pieces that I'm gonna show you guys on, but it's super, super good stuff. If you guys are familiar with Scott Disick's aesthetic in general in previous years, I don't know if his aesthetic is the same. I haven't really been keeping up with him, but he's always been kind of like simplicity and quality over everything. He doesn't really wear a lot of logos. He's just always got really nice gear. He's got like common 
projects, John Elliott, St. Laurent Denim, that's kind of like his go-to look. And I always respected his style from a distance and it was something that I actually took inspiration from at times. So, and so the brand that he's come up with with Talentless is definitely of that nature and they make really good quality basics. And so I caught two of their premium hoodies. I caught the white version and a black version and just for sizing reference, I am six foot, 170 pounds and I did a size large. So these are 100% cotton and they just sit really nicely. And the one thing I was a little bit concerned about when buying these was the length of the hoodies because I had seen some people online say they do maybe fit a little bit small, but that was definitely not the case. They definitely fit me true to size and I just love the comfort of them. As I said, I'm super picky with my hoodies, so it's really hard for me to find good basics, but I'm definitely really happy that I picked these up. The quality is definitely there and the price point is also super good, 120 bucks US dollars. There's actually a clip of Scott Disick saying, obviously he's biased because it's his brand, but he's saying that in Barney's, these hoodies would be like 300 to $400 if it was from another brand. And it's definitely true. And these would be a super high price point in the huge department store, but I think for 120 bucks, you're definitely getting your money's worth. These premium hoodies don't really have any branding or anything on them. It's just straight simplicity. It's just a perfect everyday classic hoodie. And I'm definitely gonna be wearing these a ton. I'll just show you guys the other color just so you can get a little bit more reference. And I just picked up the black and white hoodies because I think I'm gonna be able to wear these two pieces every day. And yeah, nothing too crazy. It's just got the pocket on the front, no branding. And right on the inside there, it's got the talentless tag. I really think that if you guys are looking Looking for high quality basics you should check out talentless because they're definitely up and coming and this is not paid or sponsored or anything I paid for this stuff with my own money out of my own pocket and I'm really happy with my purchases and I think that I'm just gonna get a ton of wear out of these things so I'm letting you guys know I would not put something on my channel that I don't believe in and if I didn't think that these were good quality and they just gave me stuff for free to promote or whatever I would not do that I'm only putting good stuff on this channel that I stick behind and stuff that I personally believe in so I definitely recommend you guys go check out talentless if you can because this stuff really fits the bill and and yeah, I just can't say enough good things. And shout out to my sister for putting me onto this stuff. All right, good morning, guys. So I wanted to make this segment of the video because filming this segment of the video on my iPhone, I'm going for a run right now, and I don't want to bring my camera while I'm going for a run. I've been getting a few people asking me about running and stuff like that recently just because I've been posting it more on my social media and posting some of my results. And so I just wanted to kind of give my two cents on to people that are new into running or people that are thinking about getting into it more consistently. So I would definitely say that my biggest advice when it comes to running is to pretty much do the same thing that you do in every aspect of your life and that's to focus on yourself and your own progression and your own body's capabilities. So I know that a lot of people see people post running results online and think, oh man, like I have to match that or I have to be that fast or why am I not that fast? And they start to worry about other people's results and they might be less motivated or disinterested from running because they don't think that their results would match up to those people that they're seeing results from. But um, my biggest advice would just be to focus on yourself and running is a process like anything else. So you wanna always make sure that you start off light or start off what you are comfortable doing, not over pushing yourself or making things too difficult for yourself right off the bat and just slowly progressing and seeing the progress and then the more that you get comfortable while you're going for runs, you can increase the distance that you're running or you can increase the speed, that sort of thing. So um, that would be my biggest advice if you're just starting to get into it is just to listen to your body and just kind of go out and just send it and see what you're comfortable doing off the start and then just basically building from there. Yeah, it's just a building process and it's like anything else. So if you're not someone who enjoys running naturally, I, there's also things that you can do to improve the overall experience. Like you can put together a nice playlist to listen to while you're running or, or you can also run in a really nice scenic place, something that you can look at while you're running usually when you run on tracks it's kind of boring because you're just going in circles but if you go like on a nice forested trail or a trail by the water something out in nature it can make the experience a little bit better so there's always things that you can do to improve the experience so yeah those are just my tips to you guys i'm going to get this run in right now i'm not going to go too crazy because my knees actually been pretty sore so i'm going to listen to my body and um, take it a little bit lighter but still pushing myself as much as i can i think the run that i'm going to do is like 7.2 miles last time i checked so it's pretty good and uh, it's a good workout i'm looking forward to it and hopefully you guys can take some pointers from what i just gave you guys oh, man i just got home okay so i lied I ended up trying to push myself at the end on the way back. The run was about 7.18 miles and on the way back I just decided for whatever reason I wanted to push myself. I was feeling good and then it really started to get tough towards the end. I think what did me is that I wore a hoodie and a long sleeve. So my time was like 37 seconds slower than the last time. I'll put a screenshot up of my time so you guys can get a better picture of my stats and that sort of stuff. Even though it was slower this time, I still pushed myself really hard. I'm glad that I was feeling good on the run, but it's definitely a tough one and I'm glad that I have it over with now. 
still the morning, so I got the rest of my Friday to enjoy and be productive and get things done. I'm just gonna do some stretching on the mat here now and uh, just recover and then have some breakfast because I'm starving. While I'm stretching here too, I was just on Instagram on my phone and looking at something about an Ironman. I didn't really know what an Ironman was, so I Googled it. And so essentially you have to do a 2.4 mile swim, an 112 mile bicycle ride, and a marathon that's 26.22 miles. So it's widely considered one of the most difficult one day sporting events in the world. So that sounds insane. And it says here that the cutoff time to complete that whole circuit is 16 to 17 hours. So I mean, that is just insane. It would be interesting to train for the bicycle and the running portion of it, but the swimming one, I would need so much help. I guess it's hosted in Hawaii most of the time. So that would be a really nice place to do it. But then also like you'd have to take into consideration all of the humidity and the like heat that you're running in or you're doing all that stuff. And so that's just an even crazier part of like all of the times that these guys are getting. So the fastest time for the Ironman is a guy named Tim Don in Brazil, 2017. And he got seven hours, 40 minutes and 23 seconds. So <laughs> that is unreal real numbers and I guess it's just something to strive to but those guys have to be insanely athletic like you just have to be freaks of nature for that sort of stuff so it makes me feel pretty bad about doing seven miles in 45 minutes but hey you got to start somewhere thank you guys for watching this video I really appreciate it make sure you like the video and also subscribe if you made it all the way to the end thank you so much and I'll catch you guys in the next video peace